Um, if you're wondering why it's dark in here, because this is my car. Um, this is going to be the least entertaining Kifi BVs ever. And I'll tell you why. Because I'm actually doing this now for re uh, For the past few days, I have been pretending to exercise and diet, and I haven't. Okay, so I wasn't going back to work yet. So I figured I'm definitely not doing the Hefe BBs. So if you have been doing the Hefe BBs these past few days, I am really... Sorry. What I wanted to say is this is the first day I have done this for real. Okay, so today I have dieted. Well, I had an egg, a boiled egg, and some lettuce and tomato, some sort of salad. And I had a tomato soup. Uh, which was, uh, again, at work, uh, in a little cup about this big. Uh, it wasn't a cup of soup. It was proper tomato soup. Uh, and I had uh, a couple of croutons with it as well. That's really naughty, but I had them as well. I also had, uh, when I drove back, I stopped at a petrol station, and um, I, I bought a pack of Monster Munch. So I had a pack of Monster Munch. Um... That's my naughty thing. I didn't tell Becky that, so shh, don't dare. Uh, 148 calories per 30 grams, and there's 48 grams here. That's about one and a half times, so about 225 calories-ish. Um, so that, that's day one, and I've failed already, so that's good. Um, so so but that's it's, it's wrong, and I feel really guilty, but... On the positives, I did run. That's right, I did run. So, I used to run quite a lot. Uh, when I say quite a lot, I used to run uh, maybe around five or six miles every five days a week. So quite a lot. But I am. Uh, uh, so I ran eight kilometers, uh, which is roughly uh, five miles. Uh, now I didn't run the whole way because I couldn't. I could run for twenty minute bursts, and then that's I would have to walk for a bit, and then I could jog, and then run for a bit more. Uh, so I did eight kilometers in uh, just over an hour, sixty-two I minutes. I have the habit of saying when I am running um, that I used to be able to do this. I used to be able to run. 10 kilometers in less than an hour. I used to be, in fact, I used to be able to run 10 kilometers the best time I did I that. suddenly realized that no matter how fast I run, uh, how long I run, uh, how much I run, I will never, ever, ever catch up to my younger self. Mm. I am always comparing myself to an impossible baseline. I am always comparing myself to somebody who's uh, younger than me, um, and who will always be younger than me. Uh, I'm comparing myself to what I was, and I can never become what I was. Um, so that's always setting me up for failure. Uh, and this is the really significant point, because if you set yourself up for failure, um, it's almost like an excuse to fail. So um, I'll go running, and I won't get the same speeds I did uh, sort of six six years ago, say, um, till five, six years ago. And, and then I'll say, well, I messed up. So I can't do that again, so I'll have a kebab. And, and that's, that's how it works. So you set that's yourself up an impossible goal, and, and, and when you do fail, uh, because you will, because you've set yourself up to fail, the, 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 there is no limit to the depravity you can fall. Since you will never catch up to your younger self, you set yourself up to fail. So the goal for me really is not to catch up with young Hash, um, but to determine what this person is going to be able to do. And, and I'm, I'm setting my baseline from now. Um, I'm going to have to run a, a little bit up and down path uh, in Alice Holt. 10 kilometers, and I want to do that in an hour. That is the way I want and, to And uh, tomorrow, uh, just to put an anticlimax on that, tomorrow I will be doing the cross trainer because my feet killing me. They are killing me. My feet and my hour of exercise if I can. And I'm really lucky because I've got a gym at work. 
uh, and it, it's not really uh, expensive. But if I didn't have one, I would be going out into the horrible weather, uh, which is wet and windy and rainy. So uh, <laughs> doesn't cost you anything to run. You just need some running shoes, and um, well, you don't even need running shoes. You can run around barefoot. Don't run around barefoot. You'll probably cut your feet, and, and don't sue me, please. Okay, um, that's it. Until next time, folks, this is the Heavy BBs. Oh.